Number eight, you're going to find the area of the shading region. These are all sectors of a circle. Please understand these are sectors. So remember the formula for the sector is defined as the angle over 360 times the, uh, the total area, which is pi r squared. So let's label it. We have the r here, which is 10 meters. So r is equal to 10. And we have the angle here, which is 70 degrees. Okay, so I can just plug it in. My sector is equal to 70 divided by 360 times pi 10 squared. So 70 divided by 360, that gets me, right? Okay, 720 or 7 over 36 times 100 pi, right? This is after I simplify. So now I can just plug this into my calculator. I plug in 7 divided by 36 times 100, okay? This gets me roughly, I think, 19.44, and I left it in terms of pi, okay? So you can do that, or you can say uh, the sector is equal to 19.44 pi, or if you multiply pi in, it is 61.09 roughly okay uh, meter squared meter squared if you care about the units all right next part okay we know again the sector is equal to the angle over 360 times the complete angle of the complete area of pi r squared i have r here which is 10 and i have the angle here which is equal to 293 degrees i can just plug it in 293 divided by 360 times pi r, which is 10 squared, okay? I'm not going to simplify the fraction quite yet, so it's 293 over 360 times 100 pi. Now, I'm going to enter this multiplication in, but leave pi alone. So I'm going to enter 293 divided by 360 times 100. I get about roughly... 81.39 pi for the sector or if I want to include pi I multiply by pi I get 255.7 okay and the units here are centimeters squared centimeters squared all right next okay we have the sector is equal to the angle over 360 times pi r squared so the sector there's two sectors here all right and the first sector is 120 and the other one is also what the first sector is 125 125 and the other one is also 125 so i can say my angle for the complete sector is 250 degrees and my radius here is eight so there you go so i put 250 divided by 360 times pi r which is 8 squared okay so this is 250 divided by 360 times 64 pi okay i can now just enter that in 250 divided by 360 times 64 that got me roughly 44.44 pi for the sector or if I multiply it by pi, I get the sector is approximately 139.63, and these are all inches squared. All right, so there you go. That is how you find the sector uh, of a circle.